Autumn is in full swing in the Northern Hemisphere. And where I live, that means pumpkins everywhere. Not only are they decorative and fun, but they can be a treat for the local suburban wildlife. Case in point, a neighbor recently captured this footage of a rare white squirrel enjoying the seasonal menu. Many heartfelt thanks to Mr. R, who graciously allowed me to use this footage to create this video. The Eastern Gray Squirrel, Sciurus carolinensis, flourishes throughout much of the United States and parts of Canada. I was surprised to learn that there are two different ways a member of this species could end up with a white coat. Ecologist Rob Nelson has researched these variations and explains them in this article for the website Untamed Science. Most white squirrels exhibit albinism, and much like in humans, this is caused by a mutation on a gene that controls pigmentation. The others are an actual white morph of the eastern gray squirrel, in which the white fur results from the expression of a totally different gene. So how can you tell the difference? It's quite easy. An albino squirrel has pinkish or reddish eyes. That's how we can be sure that our pumpkin enthusiast here is an albino. The Untamed Science article includes this awesome map showing all the white squirrel hotspots in the United States. This looks like something I would draw, but it does get the point across. Further down, we have this somewhat more scientific map illustrating what we know about the distribution of white and albino squirrels. Here's where I am. I'm delighted to see a high concentration of albinos here. I will link to this webpage in the description for this video. You would think that selective pressures would strongly disfavor a white coat on a squirrel, since it makes the animal so easily visible to predators. In our cities and suburbs, though, natural predators are usually scarce. In these areas, the number one predator of the eastern gray squirrel is... the common car. A white coat will stand out more against a gray or black pavement and is therefore more visible to drivers, perhaps lowering the risk of a strike. I really hope you've enjoyed these photos and video clips. If you did, please consider liking this video or leaving a comment. For more content featuring suburban wildlife, please consider subscribing to my channel. Special thanks to Rob Nelson, UntamedScience.com, and the very generous Mr. R. Most of all though, thank you for squirrel watching.